Up to this point, medication errors can be recognized and reversed without harming the patient. Once you're ready to administer a drug, however, errors can be devastating. That's why you must only administer drugs that you've prepared personally or that a pharmacist prepared for you. It's also why you must follow a set of classic guidelines known as the five rights. To perform the five rights, double check to make sure that you'll be giving the right drug at the right dose to the right patient at the right time and by the right route. Also, make sure you know how to correctly administer drugs by all of the commonly ordered routes, including oral drugs, topical drugs, ophthalmic, otic, and nasal drugs, respiratory drugs, buccal, sublingual, and translingual drugs, rectal drugs, vaginal drugs, intradermal, subcutaneous, and intramuscular drugs, and intravenous drugs. When you bring a drug to a patient's room, quickly review the five rights. Is this the intended patient? Do I have the right drug? Did I bring the right dose of the drug? Did I prepare the drug correctly for the right route? Is this the right time to be giving the drug? Before administering the drug, ask the patient to tell you his name. Okay. Before I give you your medication, can you tell me what your name is? Robert Gonzalez. Check the name on the patient's armband as well. Also, ask the patient if he has any allergies. Tell me if you have any allergies. Uh, penicillin. Good. If the patient reports an allergy, penicillin. make sure he has an allergy band on his wrist if needed penicillin. to avoid any future okay. errors. The medication I'll be giving you this morning Good is patient teaching can also help to prevent medication errors. Take time to review each of the patient's medications with him. Tell him the drug's generic and trade names. Show him what the drug looks like. Explain how often he'll be taking it and for what purpose. Mention adverse effects that the drug could cause. And review any drug, food, or herbal interactions that could result. If the drug must be administered using a special technique, include that in your patient teaching as well. Remember that you know a lot more about drugs than your patients do. That means your patients can become a primary source of medication errors. To help prevent this problem, encourage your patients to ask questions if they're uncertain about a drug-related issue. Can I uh, take this before or after meals? When they do, take time to answer their questions fully and clearly. As a final check before administering a medication, ask yourself, is there any reason I shouldn't be giving this patient this drug at this dose by this route at this time? If the answer is no, administer the medication as ordered. If you'll be giving a unit dose drug by the oral route, check the label at the patient's bedside, noting the drug name, dose, and expiration date. This is your second check. If you weren't giving a unit dose drug, this would be your third check. Now open the unit dose packet and place the drug in the medication cup. Check the label for the third and final time and discard the packaging. Watch the patient's reaction as you administer the drug. But I usually take the pink one in the morning. Your doctor has asked us to hold that medication until the If he questions you about the drug, stop. If you know the answer to his question, tell him why the usual regimen has changed. If you aren't sure why the drug you're administering doesn't match the patient's usual regimen, double-check the order. After giving an oral medication, stay with the patient while he takes it. If you are giving a drug by another route, follow the same routine for checking it. I just want to go ahead and check your ID band. Make sure you know how to administer the drug properly by the ordered route and dispose of all trash in an appropriate receptacle. Place used needles and syringes into labeled sharps containers.